Williams, thank you for being here. You can call me Bobo. For uh, Bobo, I'll sure. call you Bobo. Okay. Only cops and judges call me James. Okay. Bobo. Good to see you, Bobo. I nice see you. You're really staring at me, Bobo. <laughs> 40, oh, it's okay. It's cool. It's cool, Bobo. We're all friends here. Uh, you are. We got to get right into this. You are a squatchologist. You are very serious about this. Yeah. You believe Bigfoot exists. Beliefs for stuff you can't see. I know they exist. You know he exists, and they. They exist. There's more than one Bigfoot. They're a species. They're like a primate, probably okay. in the Homo genus. Right. Okay. So you've seen big. Like have Homo you sapien, like. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen Bigfoot? Yeah, yeah, I have. You've seen him yourself? Swear to God. Okay, well, uh, you, you have not captured him, though, on video. Uh, you have no photographs, you have no film, you have no nothing, no... I never had the equipment before we started doing the show, and I haven't seen one since 2007. So the last time I saw one, I... We just got, we got the equipment like two weeks later, this, this rich guy Wally buys this equipment now, and I got the equipment two weeks later, I would have had, I would have had it, it was only like 70 feet away. But you had no, you were looking for Bigfoot, but had no recording equipment well, we with did. you. Well, we did, not, not thermals, I mean, that sh stuff was like 35 grand, you know. Right, well, good thing Wally came along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you've gotten a look at him, describe, what is, I mean, you've seen Bigfoot, what does a Bigfoot look like? Well, a lot of, pretty much everyone here has probably seen it, the Patterson Gillen film, the 1967, where it goes walk up the creek and looks back. Yeah, but many people that's think that's a guy in a Bigfoot costume. Well, dude, there's a lot of people who think that moon is made of cheese, but talk to like an astrophysicist and you're gonna find out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, that's, no. That's, a, that's a good point. Most, most people believe <laughs> that moon is made of cheese. Well, it's back <laughs> in the old, whatever, I'm just in saying. In the old days, I understand, but okay, let's but, look at, we have, there are three uh, there is just some existing photos of Bigfoot. There's that one. Do you think that's authentic? Is that a big... There's that one right that's there. That's totally fake. That's fake, that one? And what about... There's this one here, which looks like just Bigfoot's doing yoga with a ball. What's that? that? Was, is that a real one? Yeah, yeah. I, that's I just, a real Bigfoot? I just camped there a couple weeks ago in Pennsylvania. It's the Jacobs photo. These guys got on a game camera. There's two photos. And you also see right before, before and after that, some bear cubs came in there. And, there, and bear cubs, black bears around North America, generally the same size, same time of year. And this thing's... Totally different size. Um, Jane Goodall looked at it, the primatologist, chimpanzee lady, yeah. and said, you know, that's, that's a primate. Bear experts have looked at it and said it's not a bear. Some people say it's a bear, but it's not definitive, but... So you can tell the difference between someone in a Bigfoot costume and the actual Bigfoot. Well, the patterson Gubin film we were talking about earlier, the 67, yeah. no human on Earth meets those proportions. Like, you can't extend from the elbow to the, to the shoulder or from, or from the knee to the hip. You I... Have you seen my proportions? <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I said human. John, John Tesh, oh, thank you. John Tesh and I both could be a Bigfoot. I mean, I, we both no. have extremely long legs and I have elongated arms no. and I roam the woods nude at night often. <laughs> These are all true stories. Um, you do, uh, okay, you try to attract Bigfoot when you're looking for him. How do you try and attract Bigfoot? Um, what would Bigfoot, do? I'm sorry. I keep saying Bigfoot as though there are one we all know there are, well, there are hundreds that... of thousands. Well, there's probably between two and 6,000 in North America, roughly. We'll have a better idea when this DNA study gets in. There's a lot of DNA samples that have been turned in. DNA samples from Bigfoot? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they've got new techniques to extract DNA. Um, well, oxygen. what DNA do you have of Bigfoots? Um, mostly it's coming from hair. Like, hair samples already have that. The morphology of the hair, they, the, it's an uh, unidentified primate. It's been collected in North America. There's hundreds of samples of so it. So it's all hair. That's all the DNA. No, no, no. There's, um, there's some blood samples where they've crossed uh, barbed wire fences and... I don't want to get too into it, but uh, a guy shot two of them two years ago in Northern California, and they, he brought in a chunk of the leg from the adult. He shot a young one and an adult one, and that's the basis of the whole study. Really? Yeah, but it's I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, Your whole show is about finding Bigfoot, and you're not allowed to say that they found Bigfoot and have a piece of him? Everyone signed NDAs, uh, but I didn't. But uh, everyone else that's working on it signed So NDAs. then you're allowed to talk about it. We've got a yeah. chunk of a Bigfoot somewhere. They do. We've got DNA from Bigfoot. We've got hair. We've got blood. They map the genome, yeah. They've got, they've got, do they, is there semen? Is there Bigfoot semen? I'm trying to collect that right now. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. Come on. I'm dedicated. You gotta do what you gotta do. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> nah. You're gonna uh, meet him in a hotel? <laughs>